All right, example number three in this energy uh, chapter. Uh, this one, it doesn't explicitly tell us, hey, calculate kinetic energy or calculate the potential energy or calculate this type of energy. We've got to figure this one out. Uh, all right, so we've got a river flowing steadily at a rate of 175 meters cubed per second, and it's considered for hydroelectric power generation. It's determined that a dam can be built to collect water and release it from an elevation 80 meters lower to generate power. Determine how much power can be generated from this river water after the dam is filled. So uh, we've got some water at some elevation. Uh, we're considering building a dam down here and releasing it down here. And do you see that the energy we're going to get out of it, the energy we're going to get out of it is potential energy. Is potential energy. Uh, because this dam, you know, stops the water. We're gonna we're gonna fill this up. Uh, it's going to stop it, and then we're going to release it at a lower elevation. And we we could we won't go into it, but we could get energy out of that the potential energy in the water. So this one, in a roundabout way, it's asking us for the potential energy um, that we could get out of this water. All right, what did it give us? It told us this right here. Look at the units right there, 175 meters cubed per second. That is the volumetric flow rate V dot uh, that it gave us. It wants to know how much power. So it doesn't want to know the uh, specific potential energy or the total potential energy. It wants a potential energy per unit time. It wants potential energy per unit time. It wants M dot G H. It, it wasn't that a roundabout way. And that, that's what you have to be able to decipher uh, from these problem statements. What is it really asking me for? It's asking me for M dot G H. Uh, we had to kind of visualize, we had to think about what it was telling us. A dam is stopped right here. Uh, so it's not, we're not going to get anything from kinetic energy um, because this, this river is no longer flowing. We've stopped it up. Um, we're, we're getting energy from uh, potential energy uh, from the water by stopping it up and lowering it 80 meters. So how much potential energy, how much M dot GH? Did it give us M dot? No, it gave us V dot, though. Uh, but you know that M dot is rho V dot. So rho V dot GH. Rho V dot GH. All right. So the potential energy, I'll say potential energy with a dot right here, is equal to rho. Uh, it didn't give us the rho. This is water, though. Uh, water, standard uh, density of water, 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, uh, times the V dot, 175 meters cubed per second, uh, times gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared, and height of 80 meters, height of 80 meters, so meters cubed, meters cubed, kilograms, meters uh, per second here. Uh, let me see how this would work out. Um, the potential energy... would be a very, very large number, right? I would get 137 million, uh, 137 million, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, watts would be my answer. Uh, but I know that a kilowatt is a thousand, a megawatt is 10 to the six. So 137 megawatts. All right. If I left everything as kilograms and meters, then my answer would be in watts. Uh, so I did that in my calculator. 1,000 times 175 times 9.81 times 80, and I get 137.340000. And so I moved six decimal places to get from watts to megawatts. Okay. And so there's my answer right there. All right, so problems like this. First, you got to figure out what it's really asking for. It's asking me for the M dot GH. 
uh, m.gh is rho v.gh. Then we go right there, very large number, but divided by 10 to the 6 to convert from watts to megawatts. All right.